Okay, uh, good afternoon guys, uh, this is Chris Frosson and um, I'm just doing a video today, I'm going to, I've just finished a coaching forum, county coaching forum, tennis coaching, I'm just actually walking past this is where I coach, um, that's the outside tennis court there, um, and what I'm going to do is I've just taken the rest of the day off because it is, if you look up, up into the skies, an absolutely glorious day, um, so I've got uh, my camera. There's D90 down there, uh, which is an awesome little camera. It's got the 50mm 1.8 on there as well, um, and then a couple of couple of lenses in my bag, which is over my shoulder. Uh, and I've also got my Slick Pro 2 uh, Sprint tripod. And what we're going to do, hopefully, we're going to wander around into town uh, and find a few buildings just to try and take some urban exploration style photos and see where we get to. Um, so hopefully next video will be at one of the buildings that I want to want to go and have a look at which is an old roofing and flooring uh, manufacturing place. It's now deserted so uh, I'll see you again in a second. Thank you. Okay guys, so we've just got um, across town uh, and if I turn the camera around now you'll be able to see that is the Derby Roofing and Flooring Company which is slightly ironic, seeing as it hasn't got a roof uh, and as we get closer you'll find out that it hasn't got any floors either. Um, and then also, wait for the car to go, there's a building across there which is an old uh, paint factory. Very, very small building, but there's a paint tower in there which is uh, it's got some really unique light in it. So, hopefully, it's not boarded up um, and we can get in there and uh, take some photos as well. So, bear with me, and I'll be uh, back in a second. Okay, so some bad news already. Unfortunately, if I turn around here, um, this is the paint tower. Um, lots of graffiti on the front, but as you'll hopefully see down there, uh, it's boarded up. So that is going to be a no-go, but I will grab some of the photos of the graffiti as we turn around there. But if we turn all the way around and look at this, that is the main building we come to see today. So we're going to wander around here and uh, have a look and, and basically just see what we can get. Um, I have been here before, but it was a long time ago and it was with one of my earlier cameras. I've obviously got my tripod this time, so maybe try some long exposure as well um, and see what we can get. But um, as you look, here we go. So I'm having a quick walk around uh, the building and uh, I've swapped over one of my lenses. I've taken the 50mm 1.8 off uh, and I've put on a 3570, which I got really, really cheaply. It's only a, what is it, 3.5, 3.5 to 4.5, uh, so it's variable aperture. Um, but it um, just gives me a little bit of a wider angle of view for what I'm trying to get. Uh, and we're walking around uh, this building here um, and basically just trying to get some exterior shots. And what I'm going to do, we're going to walk around once or twice because I'm going to change... Uh, my lens, and if you look up in the windows, there's a lot of just cool rubble <laughs> views through the windows. So, the plan, or my plan, is that I'm going to set my tripod up um, after a walk around. So, I've got to, uh, had a walk around and taken some photos of uh, the graffiti or some of the windows, some of the window details like that. And then, as I'm walking back around the other, second time, uh, I'll swap because also I've got this set up on my uh, Black Rapid uh, and that obviously needs to take, be taken, uh, swapped out, God I need some new teeth, uh, needs to be swapped out for my tripod bracket. Uh, so I'm just going to take some photos up here, uh, we've got, should have some good views inside there so we're going to have a wander up and see if we can get some interior shots in there as well underneath the floorboards of 
the roofing and flooring company. Okay, so let's see how we get on. See that uh, out box up here. Uh, I've got some of that. Uh, we've taken some detailed shots of around the windows. Uh, one of the challenges that I've been not particularly struggling with, but trying to figure out which is the best way to shoot these, because obviously it's quite a tall building. Uh, do you shoot windows square on like that, or do you shoot at an angle? Um, because then, of course, the perspective changes quite a bit. Uh, it just, uh, I can't quite decide which one I like better. Uh, square on just seems a little bit bland to me, um, uh, whereas the, the angled ones I can't quite, quite seem to get to a com composition that I, that I like. Uh, that, however, is fantastic. Um, if I can get a, a, a really good shot of that, then that'll be really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk back around to the side of the building. Uh, as there's a window around there which going to uh, shoot into, you'll notice it's getting slightly darker now, it's half past four now in England, winter time, so it does tend to go dark very very quickly at this, this, this point of the year, uh, so we're going to get around the outside nice and quickly, and I'm going to possibly pull out my 70-300, um, not too worried about the m because I'm going to stick it on a tripod and do a long exposure, see if we can get some shots inside this building. Um, and as we come round to this side, if you look up there, you'll see that it hasn't got a roof. So we might be able to get away with a little bit of um, interior lighting setup as well. Okay, and just one last thing as we walk around here, I just want to show you one of the coolest pieces of graffiti I've seen for a while. There we go. That is one evil looking mask. Okay, so I've taken a photo of that. Uh, and then now we're going to just see if we can point my 30mm, uh, 30 70mm by to 300 uh, up into one of these windows uh, to see if we can get some of the rubble and uh, debris on the inside. Uh, cool, and uh, I'll show you the photos in a bit. So the setup I've got here, I've got uh, the 50mm 1.8 back on the front of the camera. Uh, we're pointing up at those three windows up there and we're going to see if we can get a long exposure just to bring out some of the details inside. It is getting very dark very quickly um, and if you look over that way you will see um, one of the nicer things about uh, England. Uh, you do get some fantastic sunsets. Um, so we've got the camera set to it's set to one second, uh, one, second one second exposure at uh, f3.5 um, and the ISO is only at 200 um, we're going to see I'm probably going to have to ex extend that to two second exposure let's just bump that up it's just got very dark very very quickly all of a sudden uh, so we'll take a shot it's on, uh, it's on timer so three second timer and see what we end up with there's the two seconds and there's our photo. It's not actually too bad. Liking that. Um, it's a shame I can't get can't get uh, any more detail in there, but what we can do, if we look up to the three windows over the top over there, we've got a little bit more light and sunshine landing on those, so we're gonna recompose and see if we can get that those three windows uh, at the top. Okay, so as you can probably see, it's getting uh, very dark. Uh, we've got a sunset, uh, which you might be able to see uh, just over there. Uh, possibly not. So if we can darken the exposure a little bit. Nope. Uh, but there's a sunset over there. I've already taken a photo of that. Uh, so the last photo of the day today 
is just uh, on the corner of this. This is where I really wish I had a, a wide angle lens or a fisheye. Um, the Samyang, I believe it's a 13mm fisheye, or the Nikon 10.5mm. Uh, uh, that's actually in the sale at the moment in one of the uh, camera shops nearby. So, uh, so I might be able might well grab that, uh, but this is going to be my last shot of the day. Uh, it's right on the corner, and uh, we're going to do a long exposure, probably over about two seconds um, of that. So we're just going to set the timer because uh, we want want it to be on a timer. Where they don't have a remote shutter release. Uh, just check the composition again. Three, two, one. Here it goes. Let's just have a look. See what the final photo looks like. So four seconds, that's gone very very blue. Uh, so let's just check the white balance setting uh, and we'll take it again. White balance Balance is on auto, so we'll just drop that, drop it back to three seconds. We'll take one more, last one of the day. And here we go. Really wish you could see the sunset, guys. See if we can get in and just see that. Show this last photo. There it is, as it comes out of the dark. That's our last photo of the day. So thank you very much, guys. This is Chris Rossin. Uh, we did a little bit of, uh, well, not exactly urban exploration, but. Uh, walking around uh, and having a look at a quick derelict building around Derby uh, and oh it's just such a nice sunset over there I'm gutted you can't see it guys uh, absolutely bright red so which hopefully means that tomorrow is going to be a good day um, and I'm not coaching tomorrow until four o'clock so we might want to get some photos in tomorrow as well okay thank you very much guys and uh, hope you enjoyed the photos which are coming up now see ya